Hi guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. You're most likely new because I haven't posted in such a long time. Like um, my last upload was in July for a 4th of July vlog and a lot has happened since then. Like a lot has happened. And the place that I'm at right now, I want to take this opportunity to really uh, consistently upload. And I say this all the time, but like I'm just at a place where I can upload or can record stuff. Like, you know, I've always been the one. And it could be because I'm Filipino, but I'm always wanting to capture the moments, whether it's taking photos of everything, food, family, flowers, trees, <laughs> skies. Um... I've always wanted to capture the moment and like I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel and not thinking anything like it's gonna be a, a way a source of income but I just wanted to capture the moment and so yeah I'm uploading this video or I'm recording this video and have goals to upload it and upload more videos but as of right now I wanted to start off with this video which is a life update video because a lot has happened since july of 2021 and life was really living life was just lifing right and um yeah so i wanted to take a time to kind of like kind of go through what happened and it's pretty therapeutic at least for me to um reflect on the past year hasn't been a full year but a lot has happened and so i just wanted to reflect and just explain what happened and why i stopped posting um i was already inconsistent but this was just like uh, this was just something else and so um i'm gonna start and so um, july 2021 i was gonna say 2014 july 2021 we were in a rough it was already rough like the year was already testing me and testing those around me and um we were in transition to move from my boyfriend now fiance um from living with his parents to moving in with my grandparents and um so yeah, we were in that little weird transition. We're trying to like, we're still trying to figure out how to be parents and just also working on our relationship. And it was just like a lot going on. And I was working, um, I've since being a mom, I've worked remotely. And so you may think it's like easy, but like staring at the screen for like the majority of the day is very, energy draining um and then having to take care of our daughter you know it just it was a lot and and my firstborn right here my firstborn <laughs> no my dog and my daughter um it was just like a lot going on and then it was hot like you know i don't know about you but i get like moody when it's hot i i get moody a lot but when it's hot it just intensifies and so anyways um that was where I was at and then um I I felt the need to do something for myself so I enrolled myself back to school I hadn't been in school since I got my AA in 2017 and so I got accepted to Cal State Dominguez Hills um like overwhelmed with like not being in school that like how I would uh how I would do going back to school like I was just really nervous because my brain at that point was just so mom brain <laughs> like forgetting and just like everything about my daughter which everything is always about my daughter but I was just really nervous so I had that um but I got the courage to enroll and so that was that was what was overwhelming me at the time. And then on top of that, um, some personal stuff went down and I had to stay with my sister for 
like the remainder of 2021 to help her and her personal stuff that was going on so I had my daughter and I stayed with her and my niece and nephew and that in itself was another like stressful overwhelming thing because me and my sister's relationship was not good like it was almost non-existent at that point um I mean we were like kind of talking here and there because we did both have kids of our own and like you know we were trying to build that but there was just so much so much unfinished business and you know grudges and like hurt there that I didn't know what to expect but I knew that I had to go and help her because of the circumstances that she was in and so we went there and it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because me and my sister's relationship is like way better um more than it ever was like there was a period in time where we were really close but like we have such an age gap it five years so like i was like the annoying little sister that wanted to come and she was like the annoying older sister that wanted to leave and so like come with her you know and so anyway so then we stayed with my sister and we were there for about two weeks maybe three weeks before um my fiance <laughs> i'll get to this later uh, my fiance and his dad um came to pick up our daughter um so that they could take her to her appointments um that were upcoming because she struggles with eczema and she was like a year and a half so it was like time for her year and a half appointment she also has food allergies so she had an allergist appointment she had three different appointments that i like she needed to go to so they picked her up and um i want to say i want to say it was about a week or two after she picked they picked her up that um my father-in-law passed away unfortunately and that was just such oh my god like the stress like the stress of it all i had just started school because at this time it was now august and school started and um it was hard because like my fiance um was away from her our daughter because you know we had to live separate for the this time period so that I could help my sister and like it was just so much piling on top of each other having to help my sister with her circumstance and and balancing work balancing school mind you like I hadn't been in school and then like me being separated from my daughter so that she could go to her appointments here in California um mind you my sister lives in Nevada so it's a it's close but not close it's far but not far you know um and yeah and so like just finding out that he had passed away when i just saw him like he literally picked up my daughter with my fiance and um and then I, you may not know this but my fiance is samoan and if you know anything about polynesian samoan it's all about family it's all about family and they for context um we had lived with them for a majority of our time or our time together has been there and him and my mother-in-law helped us like with our daughter because we we're first-time parents and like their first-time grandparents and like yeah so just living in them even before having kiana um like it was just like a sense of stability because i hadn't experienced like living in a two-parent household with the kids and like i mean every family has their issues but like they're so s strong they were such a they are such a strong unit and um like they made me feel like part of a unit and they were really great examples of what I want my daughter to experience in our little unit. And, um, yeah, I, and his bond with Kiana, it was just, like, beautiful. 
and I'm honored to have witnessed that and I'm so thankful that she's got that experience you know that love from him and he was really the backbone of the family and like really the balance of the family and so yeah we lost him unfortunately um so yeah uh, so uh pov point of view so in my like mental state like already unstable because like i i don't sleep um and at the time out there like her eczema was just so bad so lack of sleep balancing school balancing work balancing taking care of my daughter along with my niece and nephew who are at the time um both under two and below so like she my niece Aladrian was two and Aizen was like five months six months old and then Kiana was a year and a half that was like a lot and then like not seeing my significant other and being at the place we were at at the time like it was so much like I felt like I put like me going back to school I felt like I put too much on my plate already or I asked for too much on my plate because at the time I didn't know I was would need to move in with my sister um and then life was just like here eat more eat more eat more like like a Filipino um grandma like my grandma you know and um yeah it was just such a difficult time it was all a blessing in disguise um because we're at the place where we're at now but like I miss him so much my sisters miss him my brothers miss him my fiance misses him my mother-in-law misses him the whole family just misses him and um and it hasn't even been a year and it's been super hard um like not only for myself but just to just to imagine life what it was and what it would be with him here still and then realizing like he's not here you know he's here with us in spirit but that he's not physically here with us so that has been tough and that was really hard at the time because i was stuck out there like i had to stay there in nevada and um this family this unit that has like embraced me as its own were going through the hardest hardest time in their lives and i couldn't be there and i wasn't there and so trying not to cry um so i really felt guilt like you know i felt guilt and i and my daughter is really hard like you know she's 24 7 like energy and like that's just she's at the time she was a year and a half like that's to be expected but that on top of everything that was going on and how big of a important person he was and to the family like I just felt I felt like I had no control you know I had no control because I I just didn't like it was out of my control it was out of all of our controls and then my responsibility my daughter was out there you know of course they willingly like they love her and they said like she was like helpful through hard times because like it was a way of distraction and whatnot but I just felt really guilty for not being there um, because they were they've always been there for me through like my ups and downs and I felt like I would be there you know you know if I couldn't I couldn't so um so that period of time then then my sister and her kids and I were able to come out here we came out here just in time for the funeral and the memorial and whatnot and um, we were only here for like a week um, and uh, that was just it was beautiful to see how everything you know the love the love and like the energy the you know of everyone just talking about him and like 
you know, it was it was bittersweet because obviously we lost someone we love dearly. And so anyways, um so fast forward, not fast forward, but to continue on. Um we ended up going back. I took my daughter with me. Um my fiance was starting his job to become a truck driver and so yeah um where was valentine at this time luckily i have two lovely friends shout out to allegra and bev for taking her in and then also my cousin and um kiana's godfather uh also took care of her so they split the time and luckily because she is also 24 7 <laughs> you know um but yeah anyway so we um my daughter and i went back with my sister and her kids to nevada um and i continued to stay there to help her out and it is hard it is so hard to take a care of three kids like i thought i was already stressing just taking care of one kid and a dog but um it was just me and my sister out there you know and we did the best that we could and we built like really good memories and like it was very a gro it was such a self growth thing that me and her shared you know um because her and i both haven't experienced um growing up with our mom around and stuff like that because of personal stuff um I mean, my mom lives out there, too, and I got to see her. Um, my brother lives out there. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see him. Um, and that was just, like, another... That was just another, like, low blow, I feel like, um, that I didn't get to see him while I was out there for the remainder of 2021. Um, anyways, we went out there, and I was just stressing out on school stressing out on work stressing out on like not having sleep like it was really bad um but i mean i'll do anything for my sister and she would do anything for me and that's just what i had to do um and it was so cute we had we had some fun moments and the kids had some fun moments i'll try to insert some clips here but um i wish that i at least like not vlog for the sake of like posting but like recorded more for the sake of the memories because me and my sister have not lived together since we were kids and uh and when she was a teenager and prior to that we never lived together really at all like we were always separate um but yeah so uh i ended up finishing my semester so i was supposed to take five classes um but i ended up dropping one class so i had four classes um and by the grace of god i got straight a's <laughs> so um yeah and i ended up coming back and um when i came back It was hard because, you know, I expect to see my father-in-law and, um, like, you know, it was just not the same. It was just like, you know, you go through life and like there's certain moments in life where you could literally feel change. It's the wind of change. <laughs> like you could literally feel it. And yeah, so moving on to New Year's, um, or like the new year, um, I'm still working. Um, I decided to quit my job though, and also take a break from school. And that really bursted my bowl because I was like, I hadn't been in school since 2017, took one semester and already taking a break. But it was a much needed break because I was so burnt out like i was just mentally burnt out stressed out um and i needed to take a break 
I needed to focus on my daughter, my dog, and my fiance. And um, we're at a point in our life right now where I am able to take this break. And so I took it. And when life gives you a door of opportunity, you open it, okay? You open it, you look around, and if you, you know, you, you take a chance, you take a risk, you take the opportunity. And that's what I did. So currently, um, I am in a very good place better than I was before um unfortunately my grandmother on my mom's side did pass away and then that was just I was not close with my mom's side and if I'm gonna be honest like it's very filled with narcissistic toxic vibes but um my cousins on that side they're great so we've recently had a group chat on instagram and like we're building our cousin bond um but her passing because me and my mom aren't we weren't on the best of terms for about two years two three years um, and then I went out there with my sister and we kind of like, it was just small talk and it, it, it really bums me out because like as much as like what we went through growing up was really hard. Like I love my mom and I like, like so much of her goofiness and just so much of her is embedded in me and sometimes like it gets, I don't know, I don't know how to put in words, but like. Our relationship hasn't been what it was and um yeah but I mean anyway so when her mom passed away like because I was there for her when my grandfather passed away like and due to COVID and stuff like I couldn't be there um with her to see her um but I really wish it was um, more so just to be her support because I really don't that's just a whole can of worms that a whole can of snakes that I really <laughs> I'm not trying to open but uh, yeah so that happened recently um, and yeah so it was just been mentally draining the year that had occurred um, but also a blessing in disguise. What I've learned from experience, what was to be experienced in this time, was life is precious. My mental health is important. Family is important. And the memories need to be cherished. Needs, it needs to be cherished. Like, you know, you need to cherish every moment. And, um... Um, on a positive note, your girl is engaged. <laughs> um, me and my fiance have been together for eight years, eight years. And, um, I mean, I want to do a video with him explaining, like, how we met and stuff. Because, like, cliche. Um, but, yeah. So, eight years we've been together. We, he surprised me. So our daughter's birthday is the day after our anniversary. And like, you know, when you become parents, like you just don't matter anymore. So, <laughs> so he surprised us with three day tickets to um, two days at Disneyland and one day at uh, California Adventures. And it was his first time and my daughter's first time at Disneyland. I went like twice, once. Like, I don't even really, I don't know. I don't really count those because it was with people that aren't even in my life no more. <laughs> and it was when I was young. Um, The last, last time I went was my senior night. And that was fun and all, but, like, it was not, you know, whatever. So this was very 
very important, especially to my fiance because his goal ever since we were together in the beginning, he wanted to go to Disneyland the first time with his daughter. And lo and behold, God blessed us with a daughter and um, that was our first time. And I'll insert some clips here too. Um, and yeah, and so I'm over here thinking, well, actually, maybe I should save that. I'll save the story time for um, that that basically surprised us. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My daughter fell asleep with my grandpa. Um, so she's sleeping right here next to me. And I turned on the fan because it's getting hot. So if you hear it, sorry. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, um, oh, so yeah, that happened. I'll insert a TikTok of how our engagement went down. The big thing is Ainga, family, everybody here, well, I consider family. Uh, uh, Godfathers, the uncles, aunts, everything like that. Yeah, so, uh, I, I, I thought of a million words to say, and it's all escaping me right now because I'm so excited. But, so today I took Kaylin to the, to the happiest place on earth, so I can ask her. <laughs> is she can make me? Um, I'm really happy to be engaged. Like it's been eight years, like <laughs> um, but I don't already feel a part of the family and whatnot. Um and I'll link it on my social media down below. But my goals this year it's a lot and I'm gonna make a separate video because a girl needs content, need some content. Um, but my goal is to record and I wish I record, as much as I've recorded videos when he was around, you know, I wish I recorded more videos and of more people, even though a lot of my family does not like to be on video, um, at least for the memory of having it like I don't have to post it but yeah that's my goal to just continue going on life's journey trying to grow trying to heal trying to prosper and with the people I love the most in the world so yeah if you stayed throughout this entire video I thank you for watching and I really do hope you subscribe to my channel um and like this video if you did or if you can relate comment down below where you're at mentally <laughs> no comment down below tell me if you have any suggestions or anything you want and i will see you guys in my next video because i will see you guys in my next video because there will be a next video okay so that's all from me love you guys Thanks for watching. It's been Kate. <gasps> that is good. That's gonna be my outro. It's been Kate. Like in instead of it's been great. <sighs> I'm tired. Okay. Bye guys. It's been Kate. <laughs>